What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm George and welcome out to Aiken Golf Club. Um, today we're gonna be playing the red tees for 18 holes and one goal, breaking 60. So let's see how low we can shoot. All right, you guys know the deal. Very minimal warm up. going with driver, um, 270 yards into the wind here on hole one at Aiken. Wish me luck. Right in the middle of the green. Right in the middle. Maybe I don't need a warm up. I mean, that was a frozen rope, slight fade. I mean, can it be a frozen rope and a slight fade? I don't know, but anyway, it's in the middle of the green. Got to look at Eagle, and I'm riding through the shade, so I apologize. And there she is. I guess it hit the slope and kind of rolled back a little bit, a little bit but good look at Eagle. Um, here on hole one. Good start, good start. Um, pretty easy birdie, so one under after one, heading to a very short par five, number two. Whew. All right, hole two, slight dog leg right par five. Um, very short, and yes, Wesley, it is a dog leg. Um, thank you very little. All right, in honor of Wesley, um, we're gonna go with the George Cam today. Um, Wesley is currently at his first PGA Tour event in like a year and a half, 18, 19 months, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he's at the Heritage this week, and so good luck, Wesley, if you're watching. I know I have big shoes to fill, but um, good luck, play well, dominate, and hopefully come back with a dub in your first PGA Tour event in like a year and a half, two years. Good drive here on the second hole. Um, 82 yards into this par five, and yes, it is a par five, thank you. <laughs> um, so anyway, I got to carry over the slight false front, but definitely doable. All right, we got 82 yards. I'm gonna play like an 87 yard shot with my lob wedge, try to land it behind the hole, spin it back, maybe go in. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Landed about 80, spun it back, but hit that really nice. good there pretty good all right my glasses are falling off at an unprecedented rate right now so thank goodness my wife Mills will be joining for the back nine because this is driving me crazy so she's coming with croquis um, so hold your judgments because they don't look the best but they do work Would have liked an eagle there, but nonetheless, two under after two. Um, birdies are good. 18 birdies would uh, get me a 52. All right, hole number three. As you can see, there's trees overhanging um, on this par four. So we got 220. Um, I'm gonna have to hit a cut hybrid around the trees and there's water right. So I'll try to be um, favoring the left side of the green. Glasses literally fell off. Might be in the hazard. Yikes. That's a, uh, that's a rough little break right there. Yeah, my glasses shifted in my downswing, so <laughs> we're about to have to get creative here. Sports tape. Until my wife gets here, we're going to be putting sports tape on the bridge of my nose of the glasses <laughs> to see if that can at least hold them up a little bit. Golly. What, what have I turned into? Well, I'm only a slight bit annoyed. My ball went in somewhere right here, um, so I'll take a drop. The good news is it's <laughs> got a little uh, entryway. Little assist from the uh, <laughs> from the tree limb there. Mm. Yeah, 
there's the tape, but that was a huge putt. I mean, making a par on this hole, <laughs> I can't take myself seriously, but two under, through three, no blood, um, heading to the par three fourth, two under. All right, we got 103 uphill under the wind. Probably gonna play about a 115 shot, going with a 50 degree. Should be, I don't know if that's gonna be on the right level. We'll see. All right, here's my ball. Probably landed somewhere right there, spun back. Regardless, not firing on all cylinders. Um, yeah. All right, the same 50 degree. It's time for redemption. Ah. Holy cow. We got Mr. Skippy there or something. Oh. Not gonna lie, I think I pulled that one. Man, it's been a rough start here between the glasses, hitting balls and hazards, being a little off with the wedges, but nonetheless, through four holes, we're two under. Um, this is an 18 hole deal, so we got plenty of holes and plenty of golf left. All right, this is gonna be the first in a series of videos where basically the premise is I have to shoot or break 60 before I move back a tee box. So like today, um, if I shoot under 60, then I'll get to move back to the white tees. Um, if I break 60 from there, then I move back to the next tee box and so forth and so on. So hopefully, you know, in this year that I can say that I broke 60 from every tee box, but it's gotta start with today in the red tees. So I got a pretty tall mountain um, to climb today. So let's get after it. All right, hole five, par four, 315. Not gonna trust the driver, we're gonna lay up. I know, judge me, it's fine. But, 315 yards. All right, hole number five here. Um, I think I can breathe a little bit. My glasses are gonna stay on my face. Mills is here to kind of calm me down. And she brought me extra batteries because the smart guy that I am forgot to charge them all and bring the charged ones with me. So, <sighs> deep breath. But we are a couple under, we're playing all right, and uh, gonna make some birdies. All right, we got 122, we're going full 50 degree. Um, trying to be like 10 feet short. Oh no, go, pick left. Here we go, pin high, or just shy of pin high. Um, just didn't didn't square the club face enough, but still a good look at birdie. All right, after five, two under par. A little bit of a slow start, but I am just preferring to stick with the old adage as slow and steady wins the race. So that's my mantra today and I'm hoping it sticks true. <laughs> 255 downwind, we're going with hybrid. We're gonna to try to start it at the, uh, the big house you see in the background, the little circle. That's my start line. Oh, come on. Is this that tree? Oh, no. Golly, it just caught the branch and kicked it down. Well, got some tree trouble. There's the pin right there, but we're gonna go left of this tree. We're gonna go Hit it there and it should break right, so we're gonna take the aggressive route. Uh, the hammer hands are uh, are carrying over, it seems. Oh! Whew. Man, this is uh, extra slow and steady today, apparently, but still got a lot of holes left. That was the swing we were looking for with driver. We should be good to go now. 77 yards, lob wedge, pin in the back, so I'm honestly, checks, spins back, goes in. Can't even hold a club up. Here we 
good distance. Yep, looks, I don't think it's short, but it looks like five feet. And you guys might be witnessing, witnessing the turnaround here. Hole number seven, birdie, puts us to three under. We gotta get to 11, so eight under from here to the house to shoot below 60. I think, we're, I think we can do it. If Wesley were here, he would definitely do it. So in honor of him and his PGA Tour event and his PGA Tour debut, let's do it for Wesley. Hole number eight, 280, the pin's right at the bottom of the hill. Three wood. Should be about 20 yards right of the green. The body is starting to move a little bit better. Um, it only took me about took me about eight holes, and only took me about eight minutes to get those two sentences out. So <laughs> I think we're doing pretty good. Wouldn't you say, Mills? Oh, I would say. All right, this is the task at hand. Perfectly pin high, as you can see, about 20 yards right. Have to carry it over this little bunker. Let's go time. Minus four through eight, thumbs up. As you can see, not a lot of green to work with and we have to hit it kind of high. Well, I did not have a great lie there, so instead of going like a spinny shot, I decided because I knew I wasn't probably gonna catch it clean, I was gonna take a little more speed or have a little more speed and hit a higher shot, more of a low risk, risk shot. So as y'all can see, I landed it pretty close to the hole and um, relied on tra trajectory to um, stop the ball instead of spin. Um, not quite as risky as where Wesley probably would have gone the spinner shot and that for me would have brought in the bunker into play. We went the high soft approach so if you're short sighted bad lie take the high low spin approach. 132 up the hill probably about a 140 shot I'm gonna go with pitch and wedge. All right, there we go, there we go. Um, I wouldn't say great look at birdie, but not terrible. For a quote unquote poor wet shot, we will take that one. Come in like that. Mm. Not quite hard enough. Not my best on this front nine, four under 31 from the red tees. It's not that great, but we have nine holes left and I have a sweet pair of croquis on um, as a consolation prize. So 31 on the front, about to shoot about 26 on the back. So let's go. Hole number 10 sends away par five. I'm gonna go like this and hopefully end up right there. Short par five, hole 10. All right, we got 102 uphill under the wind. Probably gonna play a 110 shot. Go with a 54 degree, just a smooth 54. See what happens. <laughs> Hadn't said that in a while either. That one is gonna be really good. Whoa! Wind did not affect that one bit or either. Hopefully. Ball landed right there, didn't spin back a whole lot. But as you can see, no wind really up there. Um, so we got about 25 feet for eagle, which is better than 30 feet for eagle.
Well, we didn't come away with an eagle, but we did make a birdie. Hit a good drive and a really good wedge shot. Um, so, honestly, the last four or five holes have been hitting it pretty nicely. So, I think if I can just continue on to be patient, I should give myself a bunch of birdie and eagle looks. So, it's just gonna it's just gonna come down to the flat stick. All right, I got 162 into the wind, I think somehow. But yesterday on the range, I worked on fades for probably 20 or 30 minutes with my irons, specifically my eight iron. Haven't done that in a while. We're going with the fade on this hole. A three quarter fade eight iron. Well, good news is it faded. As you can see, perfect distance. Um, this was a hair late on the eight iron, but we have a huge mound that I gotta play it. I'm gonna have to play it like Double this outside the right. <laughs> Whatever double this is. Whoa. Oh, holy cow. Really good read, just a hair too fast. Last rotation, Randy, but it's a three nonetheless. Um, I was definitely gonna blame it if it stayed short on my ponytail that I got going on back here. But, you know, sometimes you gotta sacrifice fashion for function, and that's what I'm going. Wow, that sounded kind of nice, didn't it? Fashion for function? Anyway, minus five through 11. 250 up the hill, probably playing about 260, um, right between three wood and hybrid. So we're gonna go cut three wood. Oh, stay right there. I think pin high right, perfect distance. As you can see, um, the whole green slopes like this, so I'm gonna aim it, you know, probably five, eight feet to the right. Let it trundle on, trundle on down to the left, and I'm using a 54. Millsy? Oh. <laughs> the greens were a little bit faster, I think they would've gone in. All right, birdie. Not two in a row, but two of three, and puts me to six, six under through uh, 12 holes. All right, par five, number 13. We're going high ball Harry over those trees with a cut. Um, last time I played this hole, I had like 50 yards into the green, so we're trying to repeat that drive. Hit it really high and I hit it really right. Four! Alright, so when you hit it high or when to hit it high, you want to lean back a little bit, you know, really try to swing up on it a little bit more, especially if you're, especially if you're a low ball hitter. Well, that time I was a little too like lean back and when I came to the inside, came in with an open club face, thus starting it pretty high but also with a fade. Um, so that's what I did there. I hit it way right, but you know, honestly, when there's trees right there, your, your one objective or your most important objective is to get it over the trees, which I did. So, kind of one. Okay, hey. so this is where we came from. Whoa, 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 don't show them that. And then this is 14. Yeah? Oh. Hey, don't put me on blast like that. Oh, there's the pin. Sit a little bit, just a little bit. Hey Millsy, we got a circus pot. Big breaker. Let's go. Whew, gotta catch my breath, but that was huge. That puts me to eight under par after that eagle. We have five to go. Minus three in the last five to shoot that coveted 59 or lower. But that's what we needed. The long bomb, the eagle, on to 14. Whew. All right, hole number 14 is 211 uphill, probably like 215-ish, but it's slightly downwind. So I'm gonna hit my 210 club, which is a five iron. 
take it about 20 feet right, draw it in there. It should be the really a really good club. Oh, come on. If that's enough, guys, if it's there. <laughs> I'm not going to say that's going to be within five feet, but it might be within five feet. I'm not going to say it either, but I'm also not going to not say it. So let's go. I mean, I don't even know why I'm taking my putter up there. Come on, Nelsie. Let's go show them how good of a shot this really was. Can't find my ball mark, but... Got this far for eagle. Back-to-back -back eagles, mind you. I mean, talking about turning around the ship. We, we weren't sinking, but it was getting close to that point where, like, you start losing interest, losing hope. But all of a sudden, my wife shows up and gives me a pe pep talk, of, of course. Um, and here we are on the 14th hole, 10 under par, with four to go. Here's some knuckles. You're welcome. Mill, this is for you. Oh, sorry. Okay, we're waiting on the tee box here on hole 15. So Mills, we're going to interview for a few seconds, or minutes, who knows. <sighs> what is your favorite golf club? My hybrid. Your hybrid. Do you have a favorite golf moment memory? Uh, yes, when we were putting on the 18th green and you asked me to marry you. <laughs> oh, nice answer. Were we going to do like thumbs? I'm not sure. <laughs> I thought you were going to do knuckles, but <laughs> then you did it. Snail, yeah. All right, if you were to choose between Jordan Spieth and Adam Scott, who would you choose? Oh, gosh. Only based on golf swings, not looks. Jordan Spieth. It wasn't really because it was golf swing, because Adam Scott's swing is way prettier. So you obviously have a crush on Jordan Speed. That's not true. Oh, really? Yeah. Hole number 15 is like 250-ish, 240-ish from these front tees. The pin's up the front, so it might only be like a 230 shot. Anyway, I'm going with four iron. Probably can't get it there, but chipping from short is where you want to be. It's going to leave me a tough little bunker shot from over there. But definitely doable. Uh oh, sit down. No. Oh boy. So that shot was not that bad. Just like a hair too close to the ball, just a little bit farther behind it, it would have been perfect. All right, so if I were in a tournament, I would probably try to land something right here and honestly get it to end here and just take my chance with a 10 or 15 footer. Uh, but if I wanted to get it closer, make it, I needed to land it kind of more in the flat area, like in here. But that brings in long, which is where my ball is. So I took the aggressive route and it didn't pay off, but just know like if I was in a tournament, I'm taking the conservative route 10 out of 10 times there and just taking this for par or for birdie. Good Thank you. You know, a tap in from 50 or so feet not terrible. So as we go to the 16th hole, par three, I am now 10 under par, or still 10 under par. Hole number 16, 143 downhill, probably about 135 shot, which is a perfect three quarter choke up pitching wedge. This open club face central. Everything feels good. I'm just a little bit late and that club face is just like open and then, yeah, that's, no bueno. Final Wesley Cam slash George Cam probably. Just gonna use this as a venting session because honestly, those shots right there, hold on, really annoy me because the swing wasn't as bad as it the shot appeared. Um, I just had a wide open club face at impact and thus was late and oh, I just, that one just crawls up under you and just like is something special. But anyway, that's my, that's my vent, that's my rant. Um, now we're on to this bunker shot, and we're gonna make the best of it. Oh my gosh, George. I mean, what are we doing? We just got the longs. Big, right there. We needed that one. Let's, let's geo. Let's geo, people. Can't get the pin out. 
fall out of the pen. I'm just losing it. We very well might have just walked off the course. I'm kidding. No, but that's a huge putt because I got two holes left and I'm still 10 under par. So I only need one birdie to get that elusive 50s number. Um, and yes, Mills, here's my putter cover. But two holes to play, drivable par 4, 17, 10 under par. You guys know what I need to do. Well, hole 17 here is just a full send three woods, probably like 275 to that uh, pin up there. So just full three wood. Go, 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 just a little bit, just a little bit, I think. <laughs> um, by a little bit, I meant a lot bit. All right, I just did my homework, got a 54 degree, gonna try to land it halfway up that hill, let it take one hop, kind of slow it down, and then trickle over, because that pin is in a pretty tough spot. Oh, so close. Oh. It's gonna be about 10 feet short, but man, that was really close. Let's go. All I'm gonna say is heading to the 18th hole, I am minus 11 on this par 70. You do the math. All right, we got 165 here on the 18th hole to the middle. Um, the pin is in the middle, so I'm going with nine iron. Go. You know, the, the old saying goes, thin to win, and that is precisely what I just did there. <laughs> Looks like 10 feet short, right in line with the pin. All right, so the cool thing about golf is that you don't have to hit perfect shots to hit or to have good results. So right there, I thinned it, yes, but um, I had a really good routine. I stuck to kind of my cues and really just trusted it. And as a result, I have about 12 feet for birdie. All right, so it's breaking right to left, but the train tracks are over there. And believe it or not, it's gonna kind of straighten up at the end. So the train track theory does apply. As I was saying, the train tracks are real. And for everyone, or for anyone, especially Wesley, that doesn't believe me, that putts in the bottom of the hole because of it. Oh. <sighs> we did it. A little exhausted, but 31 on the front, 27, eight under on the back nine, 27 on the back for a 58. That's some good shooting. I don't care what tee box you're on. Um, I hit my goal, I broke 60, um, and I'll be moving back to the next tee box. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like it, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time, hopefully, for like a 56. I don't know, see y'all. And also, side note side note for all the uh, competitive golfers out there, wow, son, um, attitude is key because I don't know if y'all noticed, whenever I flipped the switch and turned into a uh, good attitude golfer, I think I was like nine or 10 under. Anyway, see you guys.